This is Oat Extract 0.6% Gentle Cleanser from Minimalist. So in this video, I'm going to use it on makeup, waterproof makeup, sunscreen, also waterproof sunscreen. Just to demonstrate you how it performs when applied on those products. And I will also compare it with my old cleanser which is from Neutrogena, Extra Gentle Cleanser. And then I will share my thoughts with you. Though I don't mind the packaging for cleansers that much, I love this packaging for this pump. It's a 120ml of product which costs 299 INR, which is affordable in my opinion. Also, I might sound cheap or weird to say this, but this does not look like 120ml of product. But anyways, I never had any bad experience with this brand and I had high expectations again and it didn't disappoint me. Let me tell you why. As you can tell, I love gentle cleansers that can actually clean my skin because that's the main purpose of a cleanser. And I have learned online the time when you can strip your skin the most is when you washing it. And of course I love ingredients list and that is why I bought this product in the first place. But how nicely it cleanses my skin despite being so gentle. As the name says, oat extract, oat was and is well known for being calming on the skin for sensitive reactive skin and you can actually use it as face mask, trust me you should try that. It also has some hydrators like hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5, glycerin, glycerin that we all already know, cheap and effective. And it also has some skin soothing ingredients like oat extract and b-sab, b-sab, Balol, Bisab Lol, Bisab Lol, Bisab Lol, Bisab Lol, which comes from the flower chamomile and that helps with inflammation and it is great for dehydrated and dry skin. Even though this product doesn't claim to remove your makeup, I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm applying on makeup, lipstick and mascara is waterproof and that lip balm, the light pigment that you see is not waterproof. And it actually removed that lip balm stain only, as you can see, so you get the idea. Now I'm applying on a waterproof sunscreen, then I'm gonna leave it for 10 minutes to dry, then I applied this cleanser. And it did not do well. So it's not a good option if you wanna use it on your waterproof sunscreen. And this is what it does to a non-waterproof sunscreen which becomes greasy after 10 minutes. As you can see, it removes this one perfectly because it's a non-waterproof sunscreen. So you get the idea that it can work on your non-waterproof sunscreens. It is worth noting and probably my favorite part is that there is no film or residue on my skin after washing it off so I like this part the most about this cleanser. And as it claims, it didn't make my skin on the face feel dry or tight. So who can use this product in my opinion? If you wear makeup and you don't like double cleansing, this is definitely not for you. But if you use tretinoin or any active skincare ingredients and you have acne, acne means destroyed skin barrier and if you don't wear a lot of makeup, then this cleanser is for you. And if you have oily skin, you wear a lot of makeup or if you don't wanna use this product, simply, their new salicylic acid cleanser is actually good for you. And yes, you can use that salicylic acid cleanser even in the morning. For someone like me, it is a really good cleanser because I don't wear makeup. Even if I do, I have Garnier, Micellar Water and Cleansing Balm from Plum just as backup. And if you don't feel confident using this alone, you can use it as your second cleansing option because it is not gonna make you feel dry. But if I have to choose between this one and Neutrogena Cleanser, I feel this one is too gentle. And I like my Neutrogena Cleanser just one level better than this one. 
I value your time and I try to mention only those points about the product that I think is necessary for you to know. If you have any suggestions, you're most welcome in the comments section. And I hope you like and subscribe because almost none of you is subscribed. But that's it and I will see you in my next video.